This frigid cold is not just uncomfortable, in some cases it can be dangerous. CBS News' Vanessa Murdoch is live at the Mobile Weather Lab in Bryan Park with more on how to stay safe during this brutal blast. Vanessa. It is an Arctic air invasion making it feel oh so cold out here. Right now we are out with the Mobile Weather Lab at Bryant Park. Take a look from the back of the vehicle. The temperature reading right now just about 20 degrees. But couple that with the winds and it feels like single digits out here. As we look at this morning's wind chills, these were the lowest that we recorded. It felt like negative 23 degrees in Monticello. That was the worst of it this morning. Things certainly though not pleasant elsewhere either. Take a look at what What's going on? Negative 16 was the wind chill this morning in Newburgh. In Montgomery, felt like negative 12. Now, if your skin stays exposed for too long in these excessively cold wind chills, well, that can get dangerous. No hat, no gloves on. How are you doing? It's chilly out, but you know, think Hawaii. A big coat. Warm thoughts? Well, that may not be enough to get you through the next 24 hours. Today, we face the coldest temperatures of the season. Toss in the winds, and oh my, what happens is this. As winds pick up, heat gets carried away from the body more quickly, driving both skin temperature and eventually the internal body temperature down. Frostbite can set in quickly. Quicker than people realize, um, especially if there's moisture in the air, if, if your fingertips are, are wet for whatever other reasons. Dr. Eve DeRosso, the chairman of the emergency department at Lenox Hill Hospital, says it's critical to keep your extremities covered. Especially the digits uh, that don't get good circulation. So your fingers and your toes are, are the first, and then in your ears. So uh, wearing gloves, uh, double socks if you need to, a hat, uh, anything you need to do to keep, keep yourself uh, to keep yourself warm. Sosi Armarkarian obviously got the message. Only her eyes and cheeks are exposed. How are you feeling? Really cold. If your skin is exposed, be mindful of these early signs of frostbite. You can lose sensation. You can see a, a color discoloration um, in the fingers. Um, sometimes you actually have pain before then you lose sensation. Um, also, uh, very important, um, very simply, you can just pinch your, your fingertips and see if the, the blood returns. If it doesn't or is delayed, that could be an indication. Remember, children and elderly are most susceptible to the dangerously low wind chills because circulation to their extremities is an optimal. Well, what we would like to do now is to show you some of the future wind chills, show you that things will be improving as we move forward, but still dangerously cold. By 6 o'clock tonight, it feels like 7 in the city. Then tomorrow morning, recall that this morning it felt like negative 23 degrees in Monticello. Well, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. should feel more like 9 plus degrees. And in the city, 14 degrees is what we anticipate the wind chill being early tomorrow morning. As we bring you back out here live right now from Bryant Park, it's called the Winter village and obviously with a reason right now you see the beautiful fountain completely frozen over expected to stay this way for some time as we slowly steadily climb out of this arctic freeze we are live from Bryan park with the mobile weather lab this afternoon vanessa murdoch cbs 2 news